everyone. I am very blessed and honoured to have the wonderful Jennifer Stewart here with me, who has very graciously joined me all the way from Canada, live for a, a session. Um, because she she is she's encouraged. She is um, bravely going to be sharing what she's <laughs> struggling with. Um, we're going to be talking about procrastination. We're going to be talking about self sabotage, and then I'm going to go into a healing session with Jennifer. Um, to help her understand perhaps where they come from, to clear what might be blocking her at the moment, and to demonstrate how I work. Because so many people ask me, Rachel, how do you work? What do you do? And it's so hard for me to explain sometimes that I thought, right, well, I'm just going to put this out there, and I would love for you just to feel into this and watch it and take what you need and enjoy this session um, that I'm running here with Jennifer. So. Jennifer, um, we spoke obviously briefly just before uh, we came on live, but would you just like to explain how you're feeling? Because when you talked to how you're feeling about this procrastination, this self-sabotage, what, what it's causing you at the moment, what, what, why it's causing blocks in your life at the moment. Well, that's exactly what I need to figure out is these blocks. And as a coach and an energy, an energy worker myself, we were talking about this. Sometimes we forget to do the work on ourselves mm -hmm. and it's easy to kind of get sucked into you know, wanting to provide and serve so many people. And, you know, that switch of routine sometimes can kind of knock us off a little bit, which is kind of where I am right now. Okay. So I've had the last couple of months have been a little bit chaotic. And I think I had mentioned, I love, love being able to serve and provide, you know, my, my clients with a way to grow and to evolve and to feel better and to release all of this stuff. Yet here I am. I, and I know that I can serve my clients much better, much more efficiently and much broader by all these courses that I have in my head that are like 90% done. Mm. And for some reason that 10% is driving me crazy. And that's that, you know, that procrastination, the self-sabotage. And I can find all kinds of excuses and reasons why that 10%, and this is me being totally vulnerable. Like I'm, I can't even believe that I'm, I'm saying this out loud and on public, but I think it's important for people to know mm -hmm. that, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of a profession that you're in, that, you know, we all have things that we need to work on and we all have things that we need to heal or release and I'm you know I'm at that stage and we all need coaches and we all need healers and I have I guess I've been a few a little bit without um, any external healer for myself so this is a perfect opportunity and I had mentioned that I feel like you know I'm on the precipice of this huge breakthrough so I feel like this was this was all divine timing that we're meant to be together right now and so I'm so excited about this Okay. Because I truly like my guides are like, yay, everybody is super excited. And it's oh, just, you hear them all clapping. They're like, I yay. know, right? I feel like there's a big party happening on right now. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, this is what I really needed. So yeah. I'm so thankful for you okay. and your healing. And I mean, I love, I love your healing. So this is, I think, a great opportunity for, for people to actually to see how it works and to see how, you know, just because you're a coach or just because you're an energy worker or energy healer doesn't mean that you don't have stuff yourself. Yeah, we all have stuff, don't we? I would, I would love to ask you before we get into it. So say you, you say you're 90% there. So what is, what is the behavior that you find yourself doing in order to not do that last 10%? So it could be anything. Right. I need, it could be a missing piece of information. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, it could be my internet's not working well today because I live in rural, rural Nova Scotia and our internet is terrible. So it could be, it, it's, I can be very creative with whatever kind of a reason. Okay. Right. So I know it sounds time. terrible, but it's true. I can, I can come up with the best excuse and it sounds valid, but I know yeah. that that's, you know, I know that that's what it is. Yeah. And then that's why I get myself frustrated, which doesn't help. So that's why we're here. <laughs> Understood. Understood. And I think many people will resonate with this. We can always, always, always find these reasons, but what's even more frustrating but when it's someone like you or Isa, we, we recognize it and we know what it is, but we still do it anyway. <laughs> I know, I know. So okay. this is, this is, this is huge. This is definitely okay. huge. All right. So let's just, so I said this, um, when we were speaking earlier, we're just imagining, we're just knowing that right now it's just you and I in this space together, we are divinely surrounded in light. And yes, there may be people watching this at some point. That's okay. But 
right now I want you to feel safe, I want you to feel protected and I want you to know that it's just me and it's just you and um, I am here for you, just for you today to help you release and clear whatever, the, the one thing that might be just holding you back from that, from moving forwards right now. Mm -hmm. so just feel free to, if you want to close down around your eyes, feel free to do mm -hmm. that. I'm just going to begin to feel into your energy. I've already set the intention, I've already surrounded it as in light in positive energy and I'm just going to go with with where I'm, my hands are already starting to go so I'm just going to go where I am guided <coughs> and I thought it was going to be here <coughs> because I've started coughing I sensed it earlier that there is a blockage somewhere here inside mm. the inside the chest so mm -hmm. um, <coughs> okay. I'm just going to start clearing that <coughs> We'll, we'll see what it is if we need to, but right now where I need to begin is, <coughs> so I'm always feeling what you're feeling, and mm -hmm. um, it's like, <coughs> something. Yeah. do you feel it? Yeah, oh yeah, I, mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. So don't worry, I'm doing the coughing for you right now. So you are, yeah, <laughs> I, I completely, it's, it's, it's. I'm always amazed at how energy work works because you just okay. never know. No. Okay. We're just moving something. <sighs> okay, so just imagine that you're breathing that out. Whatever has been stuck here, we're just we're just removing outer layers first. A, a sense of lightness. In the chest. So what is the fear? So there's a fear. What is the fear? My hand's going over here somewhere. Okay, I need to go over here. Um, I'm just going to keep working over here. Um, mm -hmm. There's a fear. Why? Wh what is the fear of you um, getting this work done? Of you, because you you mentioned that you were almost like you were being you were being drawn back like a catapult, and you were ready. You're on a precipice of something. Mm -hmm. Why? What is the fear of you being launched? Of you really? Um, being thrown out there fully into the world and doing the work that you're meant to be doing. Why would this cause you to procrastinate? Why, what, what, what is the fear inside of you around this? I think the fear is, and this again is total being vulnerable, is um, the, uh, the changes that that will also um, yeah. okay, I'm working with result you. in. Mm-hmm. And they, they will result in, I've got to work in your ears. There's something going on in your ears. There is, there's, it's interesting that you say yeah. that. Yeah, there's something blocked in your ears. But it's like they're blocked. It's like... It's like um, there's more for you to hear, and then mm. you're trying to. They're trying. It's like you're. <laughs> it's like you're blocking out more. It's like you're blocking out more of your gifts, and you're blocking out more of what you can do. And so that you've blocked. There's a block in the ears, and we need to unblock that. Definitely. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. I. Go on. Um. Yeah, I think I don't know exactly how to explain it, but there's I've had some a lot of new gifts that have been opening and arriving lately. Yeah. yeah. Um a lot of the buzzing in my ears. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So that was it's, it is very interesting and knowing that part of that is opening um yeah. and being and I and I'm 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 kind of surprised that they're as blocked, but I I 
but yeah. I'm not. No, there, there, there is it. And I think what I, what that I, makes sense. Yeah. What I, feel, and I go on, carry on. I was just going to say, and I think that you nailed it when you said there's, there's that fear of maybe opening too much, maybe. Yes. Yeah. And also if you, so when you launch, so when you, when you shoot catapults out there, when you, when you get that last 10% done as such, it means that these gifts, you're going to be fully open to them. Mm. And there's a bit of like, Ooh, what does that mean? What does mm -hmm. that mean? Um, some uncertainty. Can, yeah. Some uncertainty about what you're going to hear, what you're going to see, what you're going to experience with being more open. Is it and that's go on. it's good it's it's really good and I feel like I'm ready and then the, the, so it's like that that yeah. controversial battle in my head like there's yeah. a big part of me I'm so ready I'm so ready and then there's that fear part that's yeah oh that oh. you're that you're working on right now I am. <laughs> yeah it's fascinating that it's here through the ears. I, it's it We're is unblocking it it's really quite can you like this is this is yeah. my guides like deeply like working it's, inside your ears like, yeah no i get that like that's a good thing yeah yeah and sometimes i see it like sometimes i see it like metal objects that we put around ourselves so it's like a steel rod inside of you that's like no i am not coming out i am staying here <laughs> and this is what i'm unscrewing uh, yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. It totally makes perfect sense. And it is explains the resistance. Mm -hmm. Right. And that it seems like no matter how hard I've been trying and the work that I've been doing that it's been like that and not yeah. loosening up and driving me crazy. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what we're doing now. Yeah. Um, so Oof. I love. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're just pulling out. Very long. Yeah. <laughs> it's stubborn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's part of you that's like, I don't know if I want to be able to see all these things. And I don't know if I want to be able to hear all these things. Um, there's this that's that of, conflict. Yeah. So why, what is, why the conflict? What, what is the fear around? That's a good question. Is it, is it what people, is it, there's a, you, you, I'm just ask, is asking and see if it comes to you. What is the fear around actually being because this is who you are you it know? is who i am and 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 with this has been put here for like subconsciously this blocks here because at some point you told yourself oh god no i don't want to be hearing those things i don't want to be seeing those things do you think perhaps when you were younger you actually shared quite a lot of stuff and you were told uh, actually no jennifer that's not that's not true we shouldn't say things like that okay. yeah i did all the time right Okay. all the time I actually it's weird because I've just got a vision of being at my grandparents place and and I used to have uh, my grandmother was very religious okay. and it was more of the wrath of God and I can remember one time having this discussion and telling her that my God was not like that and that my God my God was all love and was kind and generous and then I had regular regular conversations Yep. And she got really ticked off at me. And I remember there were several, lots of different kinds of those kinds of conversations where I would say, you know, oh, I heard so-and-so, or I know this, or I saw this or whatever, and don't yep. talk so foolish and, you know, get your head out of the clouds. And I shut down a lot of things for many years. This, yeah. And this is what we're removing. Because mm. part of you told yourself from listening to that, oh, I, 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 I can't be right. I, I, maybe I'm not, maybe I need to shut myself off from this God, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, the God that you know, the God of love. And you, you, because you, like you said, you were just a child at the time. Grandma knows more than I do, you know, and, and you, you. But you know what? I knew that I was right, yeah. but I also knew that I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to argue. Yeah. <laughs> because, and this all comes down to, this all comes down to that as a child we need we want we we, we bury our, ourselves our authenticity 
who we are we, sh we we block our gut feelings what we who we know we are in order to keep that loving attachment bond with whether it's our parent our grandparent we want to maintain that so we shut ourselves down we quiet mm -hmm. ourselves we don't speak our truth we put these limitations wherever they are in your ears around ourselves yeah and it's now taint it's it's we don't you don't need that anymore you know what i think i didn't want to hear what she said that's where that started from yeah right so you were you were blocking out hearing what she was saying I think so. I don't, that just came to me. That was maybe that's the initial where it started from. Okay. And then I think it just got strengthened maybe yeah. over time and over years. Mm -hmm. And then I had my, I think I may have told you this story before, but my best friend's son, he passed when he was four years old okay. and he used to communicate with me very frequently and she got really upset. So I closed, I closed down for a, a while and yeah. a few years ago, and not to say I was completely shut down, but I was mostly shut down. And then a few years ago, I opened back up again and have been more, I guess, embracing yeah. my gifts more and being more open, which is really exciting for me because it feels very natural and it feels very much of who I am. Yeah. And it's exciting. But then, like I say, then you get these blocky things that mess you up. <laughs> So I'm like, what's happening? That's why you, that's why sometimes this work is so important because you can't see your own blind spot. Sometimes you, you, you right. need someone who can just be guided to the blind spot that you, you're not able, or it's too scary to go there yourself. I can't do mm -hmm. this work on myself either. I, you need, sometimes you just need that guiding light. Totally. It's working on your ears, by the way. I'm, I'm not surprised. I have very stubborn whatever you want to call that but let's let that go let's let get let go that idea that i have stubborn let's that's me. oh yeah yeah okay yeah let's go that 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 is gone yeah i'm totally open yeah open open mm. see you catch your like you still get caught up in that yeah. So these vibrations are just helping everything move. Now we're clearing the passageway. How do your ears feel now? Lighter. Let me just take yeah. this up for a second. Yeah. It's definitely lighter. Yeah, okay, yes, you've got earpieces in, haven't you? Yeah, definitely lighter. It's like, it's like <laughs> what's happening is there is more, there's more space opening mm. up inside the ears, but actually also inside your head. Mm. I can feel almost even behind my eyes, I can yeah, feel. Like an expansion happening. Mm hmm And there's a, I feel some emotion right now. So I don't know if you feel it as well, but I feel like, oh, finally, finally mm -hmm. I've been heard. Finally, mm -hmm. there's some sadness there. We're just going to help you let that go. I don't need to have this in my ears anymore. Mm -hmm. Because you were right. You were able to hear. And what you were hearing was the truth. What you were hearing was love. Mm. 
lot of energy going in there into your <sighs> yeah yeah just let mm -hmm. let the sadness out we don't worry about you know what where we are what what with it, you know whatever's happening but let's just allow this that this <sighs> sadness out <sighs> i can do it for you <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a feeling of needing to feel safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I fully express everything and if I open up fully, will I be safe? Mm. I feel a lot of love and I feel a lot of light flooding into your heart space. What do you think that's telling you? That I'm good. <laughs> that I'm safe. <laughs> yeah. And there may be people, there may be people who don't resonate with what you share. There may be people who it's not for. There may be people who watching this video thinking, gosh, that's not for me. <laughs> and, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. That doesn't matter. Because there are people who totally need your light and the fullness of you and your gifts. a lot of light i see a lot of light entering into your heart and a lot of love you feel it i do yeah i do mm. hopefully i don't end up with mascara all over my face oh. <laughs> it's okay oh. <laughs> there's just a couple little 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 yeah. <laughs> that's it's all good it's good that you're, you're, you're having that release mm -hmm. Because I think what was holding you back was this fear of um, fully opening up and what that might mean. So I want you to, what, what I want you to take from this is this love and this light and this, this knowing that um, you, were, I think that in knowing that you were right, yeah. and that you don't need to, that, that, that we don't, that we don't need these blocks in your ears anymore. Mm. That'll be really great to have those gone, and have that gone is going to be incredible. Yeah. What do you I think feel <laughs> you now, without this in your ears? 
Well, I feel like I'm going to be receiving maybe some more downloads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you feel like what I'm feeling you with now is courage? This is what mm. I'm flooding you oh, with that's... Right now. So that when you get those downloads, when you get that, when you, you, that you, you feel the courage to go, yes. I'm taking action I'm, I'm, and I'm not going to find a reason to do the shopping or, you know, whatever it is, whatever reason it is that you find not to do. I'm filling you with courage now to mm. go, yes, because you no longer, you don't need to fear what might happen anymore. Mm. You've removed that. feel a lightness now a sort of a sense of relief a sense of relief mm. a sense of lightness mm. oh, in your chest and in your shoulders it's like there's a weight there's a, it's like a weight that's being lifted now off mm. <laughs> it's throwing me like this they, they just make me laugh sometimes like there's there's just been this weight on your shoulders mm. Mm -hmm. been sore? It's like all the oh. with yeah. Mm -hmm. Releasing. Uh, we're just releasing. Okay. We That's haven't good. finished that. I thought we were gonna no, we're not finished that. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> They're like, while I've got you here, Jennifer, we're gonna <laughs> we're not stopping. We're just, That's good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah, um hold on. Uh we just got to do some work on your shoulders and the mm. body will only do what it can do in in, in one time you know it, it often there's lots of layers that we need to work through so mm -hmm. whatever, whatever your body is ready to release in the session that is what will come up um That's good. Or where we need to go first it was clear there was that we just needed to clear the chest to get to the ears and now we're just um is it making a body move yeah yeah just let your body do what it needs to do so just yeah Ooh, Total nice. vibe, vibrating yeah. everywhere. Yes, yeah. we're just loosening up the body, um, the shoulders. They're quite tight. They are. I'm surprised you can't hear them crink, crink, oh, crinkling, crinkling. <laughs> so now we're so now it's interesting. We're working slightly differently. So before we were removing what I was saw like this rod in your ears. Let's just say like a thing, like an actual. At least not an actual. It is what I could see. And now it's like, okay, we actually need to physically work to move, to get the body moving, to just to release the shoulders. Mm. And I'm um, actually um, working up and down your spine. Mm. Oh, and in the hips, just to actually give a release within the body as well. That's good. Thank you. Yeah, to release tension. I need this for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ow, and ow, my lower back's going ow. Oh, what goes on in, what happens in the, in, in, in that? It's, oh. I broke my back there. Oh, that will explain that then, because my whole <laughs> back is ow. Okay, yeah, okay, that explains that then. I'm mm. sitting like this. Wow, that was painful, because I just had this massive ow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's because I've just been saying ow, but so it yeah. caused me ow. Okay. Okay, so that's why we couldn't stop. It's because I needed to do some healing where it was broken. Okay. Okay. Does this cause what? How? What? What problems does this cause you? Well, I have uh, my shoulders mostly, and my neck, and a headache sometimes. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. This and the, it's the tightness. Like I have it. Everything. Everything is very tight. Yes, I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, ow, ooh, oh, just helping to create you some relief. Oh, that should, ow, I can, oh, just, you know, what's happening is your body is being, is saying ow, and I'm, it's almost expressing the pain to me, and I'm helping it let it out. So when I'm going ow, 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 it's so your body can finally let go of the pain. Good. Ah, ooh, ow, 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 
how? Bloody hell, I never swear, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, ah, okay. We wondered why we weren't being allowed to stop that explanation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to help the body to physically heal from that breakage. Good. Sending like a lot of healing energy to the spot where it was in the lower. It was sort of the. the in my, so almost mid to lower, like yeah, in my T5, T5 through 10. Yeah, that's where it is. So it's like they're sending, they're fixing the energy is, mm. is, is physically fixing what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> this might be making your body, you know, readjust. That's a good thing, I think, because I know it definitely needs it. And since I broke my back, I've held my a lot of trend pressure and, and tension in my shoulders and my neck. So yeah. that would be, and, and no matter how much, um, it's been really, I, and I would love to be able to have that free. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I think, okay. We're just seeing, I think that's okay. Just gently uh, rotating the spine. Ooh. Okay, so it's making me feel slightly nauseous, mm. which is okay. So what you may feel after this, I think because we've released some of that pain, obviously that will need to clear itself from the body. Mm-hmm. So if you do ha experience some feelings of nausea following on from this session, that's okay. That's what mm -hmm. this is. We, 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 we've, on, we've let go of some pain. We've relieved some tension. We've relieved what's been locked there. Mm -hmm. it might need to come out following on from this session, you know, over the next few days. So okay. just be mindful if you're feeling a bit, ooh, ooh. Uh, um, there's some stuff that's clearing. Um, and that's what that is. Okay, perfect. So pain can make you feel quite sick. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. I think they're saying. I think they're saying we can stop now. Okay. <laughs> 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 that's so funny. Okay. All right. So let's just let's just um let's just end this in the right way. So I just. I'd like to take a moment to honor and thank the energies that work with Jennifer and I today. And I just like, I'd like, I'd, I'd like you to feel now, Jennifer, like you're being surrounded in light, mm -hmm. in loving energy, that all that we worked on today is being, being lovingly cleared away. So if you can o o visualize or sense or imagine your energy being washed down right now, like in light or in water, and it's going into those areas where we've removed and it's bringing fresh, positive light and energy so into that ear space so that you can hear more and it's washing on down through those shoulders where you've had that pain and it's going all the way down into your back bringing healing light and healing energy into those areas so it's flooding down through your hips all the way down your legs your feet and it's washing away all that we worked on all that we removed it is clearing that from your energy it is clearing that from the room that you are in and right now you're just being filled up with positive energy in fact everybody who's watching this is being filled up with positive energy mm. right now i feel that 
to just draw this in to your body and I want you to take courage moving forwards and I want you to remember if you if you're at that point where that procrastination might start again or the self-sabotage starts again I want you to remember this session and I want you to remember that you don't need to hold yourself back anymore that you're you're clear and you're open and mm. that actually your gifts are needed and we don't need to have any fear around what people might say no fear of judgment no fear of rejection because what you hear is the truth even though you mm. may have been told in the past it wasn't the truth what you hear is the truth what you hear is love and it is needed and I want you to take courage from this session today to remind you to keep moving forward. Because I, I think you're ready now. I think you've been catapulted. Oof. The sling, the sling has <laughs> been released and you've gone. Oof. Yeah, Oof. wonderful. I'm, on, I'm high vibing right now. Every, every cell, every <laughs> goosebumps all over. Amazing. Amazing. That is amazing. Thank oh, you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I've loved this. This was great. This is, You've been yeah. Awesome. You're a brilliant client, I have to say. <laughs> open and so easy to work with, which makes my life, a, makes my life a lot easier.